Will, can you talk a little bit about uh, what you think the most challenging aspect of uh, Sunday's race will be for you? I mean, you've got um, quite a bit of experience here at Indy now. Yeah. And uh, you've got two great teammates, but challenging-wise, personally for you? I think it's actually going to be the weather. You know, I think the fact that it's going to be so hot and windy, wind factor, I mean, when it gets hot, you lose grip. I think that'll make it pretty tough. Um, and understanding these double four restarts, you know, that's something you got to learn during the process. I was just talking to Marco about the double file restarts and the drivers' meetings. Do you think there's uh, a solution for that, whether it's the restart point, whether they sweep the marbles, or I mean, what are your thoughts? Well, the best solution is not to do them, and if uh, you know, if we have to do them, best the, to make sure the track is always swept, okay. um, because otherwise, an outside row is always at a disadvantage. So. Um, I think that would be the key to getting them right, and obviously everyone, I think everyone w wants to be safe around this place, so hopefully uh, you know, everyone has a bit of give and take. Does that change your strategy of uh, when you would like to pass the most? I mean, is it more about getting through the double file restarts, being safe, and then overtaking, or is it trying to sneak in a couple positions, you know, right at the restart? I think it's something that you have to approach with caution initially and then work out if you can. I mean, I guess you work out a way you can get an advantage of the restart. Yeah, it's honestly, the double fold restart is less passing. The reason being is you're stuck in your row. You can't go left or right. Right. Um, you can't pull out of the row until the start finish line. And, uh, you know, that's it. Whereas, you know, the single fold, you see a big train of cars coming, people spreading out everywhere, people inside, outside. Right. And I think it was exciting for the fans on the front straight. Now you just see them coming down 120 mile an hour, slowly and going side by side, and that will be it. So uh, I'm not sure it, it will probably create some pretty interesting race down the back straight and then maybe on the next lap down the front straight. It's something we'll have to see, see what, how it works out.